Today's shootings happened near the Osceola Orange County line on Interstate 4. News 6's Eric Von Aiken joins us live from I-4 in Orange County. And Eric, take us through what you've learned today. Julie, I'll tell you, when you see these bullet holes that happened on or around I-4, you realize this was really, really close. It's incredible. Nobody was hurt. This Nissan Altima appears to be one of the four cars hit this morning. You can see the bullet hole in the driver's door with an evidence marker sticker above it. From Sky 6, we could see deputies inspecting cars corralled by cones in this Disney parking lot next to the All-Star Resort, where we saw some cast members parking. At least two of the cars appear to have evidence markers on them. Orange County deputies tell us at 6.30 this morning, they got the first calls for help and were directed to this lot. They say four cars had been hit by gunfire on I-4 or by I-4 along the Osceola-Orange County line. Disney isn't saying how or why the cars ended up here. This is the second time cars were shot up on I-4 in the past week. Um, I have three windows. I have a van. They imploded on me as I was driving on I-4. I don't know if something hit them or what. On New Year's Day, emergency dispatchers in Volusia, Seminole, and as far north as St. John's County were flooded with calls from drivers, 19 of them who said their windows were shattered while they were driving on I-4 and I-95, in these cases by BBs or pellets. Troopers in North Florida say they think they found the car that the shooting came from, but so far not the driver or the shooter. And in this morning's case, deputies are not identifying the drivers, and Disney is not saying how or why they ended up at that lot on Disney property, only that safety is their top priority. Deputies are also not saying anything about any suspects in this case, if they know of any. We will keep asking. For now, live along I-4, Eric Von Eck and getting results, News 6.